All right, we're going to get into dynamic stretching with the flex band. We're trying to decide which band to use. Kyle's an advanced athlete, so he's going to go with the strong band. He just put down the light band. First thing we do is we put the band around the waist, and we bend the leg to wrap it around the foot. We loop it one time completely so that it doesn't slip off the foot. Now we have good tension, and we're going to see that he's going into inversion and releasing and stretching and then releasing after the stretch while he's actively moving the joint. And this we're getting the peroneal muscles stretched out real good which will help to prevent ankle sprains or ankle injuries. So we do repetitions of 10 and you can see he's using both hands to maneuver the ankle. Um, and then we're going to go straight back and get the uh, to the other side and get the everter muscles which are the inside and you'll notice that the range of motion is not going to go near as far when you rotate the ankle outward. And after we go out, you're going to see that he uh, places the band a little higher up on his foot to get a little more tension or a little more pull on the Achilles tendon where he gets the gastroc and the soleus muscles. But you have to pay attention that the band does not slip off the shoe and come flying back at you. And uh, go ahead and do a uh, repetition of 10, get a good pull, and really actively stretch those muscles. And you can see that he's pulling pretty hard. Okay, we're going to bend the, uh, the knee now and pull the band up over the patella and hold it in place and push down. Now this is more of a contraction um, when he goes down into plantar flexion, but of course the band pulls it up real quick into dorsiflexion and stretches uh, the soleus real well. But that active movement does help quite a bit in uh, that whole region of the ankle joint. Notice how he kept the loop so he can transfer it to the other foot so that we save time because we don't want to waste a lot of time in our stretching routine. We want to get it done, we want to get it done quick. And we're going to go ahead and go inward again, a repetition of 10, and really get a good pull. But on this foot, he's actually fighting against turning back. And this is more of a resisted uh, contraction also in the opposite direction. We found by doing this, our ankle, uh, we have teams that have gone through uh, seasons without any sprained ankles from doing this routine with the ankles. You're going to increase range of motion, you're going to get increased flexibility and strength at the same time. And then the dynamic stretching, this is really the only portion where we actively contract the muscles is in the ankle joint. But then again, the results speak for themselves, no ankle sprains. And Kyle's been doing this now for two years with his football team, and he's a 19-year-old football player. And he's pretty advanced, so he his flexibility is real good, and that's why we're using uh, the stronger green band which is the uh, the average band